guys now uh, we shall discuss about how to configure custom object store okay by using this uh, object store module within the mule application okay in mule 4 okay so i am using the same application uh, which i have used uh, in the previous session okay now and also the i mean everything is same okay other than like this time i was using i'm using this object store okay so previously we didn't use any object store so uh, by default it is uh, taking the default object store now i am using uh, like custom object store so that is the reason i have configured this object store so click on this configuration so where the object store the type of it is persistent so when you uncheck it it will be like transient automatically okay so here I, I was able to set max entries as 100 and the time to leave as 20 seconds you see the time unit here ttl unit so ttl in the sense time to leave and expiration interval it is 60 seconds what i have set and yeah 60 and the time unit is seconds so click on okay and everything else is same okay so uh, I'm using all the seven uh, options that are available in this thing but most probably we'll be not seeing uh, all these these all these options okay in uh, in this demo okay so this is nothing but uh, I mean this is the way you can configure the custom object store okay so here previously we, we didn't use this option object store option itself and uh, we didn't configure or any any of these right okay so now we are able to configure and uh, it will be based upon our requirement okay so these are the uh, maybe the points we have to remember so when it is custom object store uh, you can configure the object store explicitly based upon the your requirement and yeah once you configure you can configure these parameters like maximum entries time to leave and expiration interval and also uh, so based upon this configuration um, i mean uh, these key value pairs will reside actually based upon the time intervals you set and when you insert into the object store okay whether you are doing the remove or removal operations or not so based upon these uh, different operations you perform on the object store the keys will stay in the based upon the operations as well as the uh, time entries what you have set in the object store configuration okay so based upon all these parameters uh, the lifetime of uh, um, i mean the the key value pairs that you stored in os will depend okay so i'll be using the same example okay the same scenarios everything is same only this time we used custom object store so if we go through the object uh, documentation you see here uh, it works a little different way than the default object store. Yeah, we already have seen few differences Okay, and uh, This is the main difference. So When you set it as persistent So this time you're getting an option to set it as a persistent or transient, right? So when you set it as a persistent though the mule run mule runtime crashes the object store that data will not be will be there still and if it is transient it will be gone okay so that is one uh, little difference and also yeah as we discussed uh, these things uh, we can set whether it is transient or persistent or ttl time to leave maximum capacity of the maximum i mean the keys and uh, different things this is the this these are the uh, two types of uh, two ways you can configure the object store okay and the differences you, you could uh, read here in the documentation okay so now let us check this application how it is going to work okay so i have set the time to leave as 20 seconds for each and every key so here the concept is for example you are going to store uh, a particular key value pair in the object store let's say at 11 20 11 20 for example 0, 0 seconds so that particular key will reside in the object store for 20 seconds okay if 
if and only if you are not going to store the same key once again okay and also on top of that we should not have this restriction that fail if present or something like that okay so you you should be able to override it once again within 20 seconds so for example if you have uh, create or uh, inserted this uh, the same key once again for example okay it will override the existing one okay so let's say at 11 11 20 and 5 seconds you have inserted one more one more thing uh, with the same key value or say with the same key but value is different for example okay so now the time will increase by 20 more seconds actually so it will be like uh, okay so the same key so it, it lasted in the object store for 25 seconds so it all depends actually for example if you are storing the same key with a different value in the object store at 19th second so from 19th second it will the lifetime of that will increase by 20 more seconds so this is how it works actually okay and in this in the same configuration we have expiration interval right okay so this will act as a scheduler maybe and it will check what are the keys okay that got i mean expired or like say like they're meant for removal from the object store okay so now let us send the uh, these requests uh, with a time gap of 5 seconds just like that okay and we'll see we'll see uh, what happens okay so i'm click so i'm using object store object os store flow here so to which uh, this input will be sent so click on send we got the response let's wait for 5 seconds okay yeah so i hope 5 seconds is done click on send so you see here in the console yeah two things uh, got printed now let me copy paste this control v click on send and also let me copy paste this click on send so all the four employee information is there in the object store okay so for four things we have four loggers here now let me get this thing retrieve all i'm copying this click on send see two got already removed actually okay so we have 52 and 53 click on send click on send just click on send so that at some point of time you'll you'll observe that uh, either both got removed or one one getting removed okay click on send yeah because we have sent these two within a gap of one second so uh, let's see maybe for example after that particular uh, interval okay so for example uh, it, it it got invoked at 11:20 okay until the next one minute uh, it will not remove these keys though they got expired in the object store in, in actual okay so that's why you see these two are also were removed from the object store okay so now let me send one more time okay so that now we'll understand the difference click on send oh sorry i should send it to object store click on send copying this click on send hi guys sorry uh, my video go, uh, recording got uh, stopped and i had to save the video previous video okay so let me finish this okay so let's assume that uh, what i'm what i'm trying to tell here is let's say let's assume that uh, this particular thing we have sent at 11:30:00 seconds and this at uh, let's say like uh, 0 05 seconds okay and click on this it is let's say we'll be sending at 11 
30 10 seconds and this is at 11 30 15 seconds for example so this will live for live till okay 23 30 20 seconds okay so the same way this will live till 25 and this will live in the object store till okay, let me delete this okay uh, till uh, 30 because uh, this plus 20 seconds right and this is like 35 so this is given that in the meantime you did not delete these keys okay so if you remain calm for like one minute they'll be uh, like in a dead state actually after 20 seconds okay if you're not going to send the same uh, request with this id okay so this is created at 11 30 00, 00 seconds and it will live till 11 30 20 seconds so this is also the same thing 11 30 0, 05 let's say you are sending the request and this will live till 25 okay this is also the same thing for example in the meantime okay let's say after after this okay if that uh, interval is happening or invoking or invoked okay so then we it will remove these two things and let's say these two are falling in the next cycle or next uh, uh, schedule for example so then it will uh, remove these two things okay so let us send the request with a slight delay okay with uh, uh, very slight delay like two to three seconds so click on send okay let me store it as, uh, save it i have to configure the store here right click on send okay now let me copy this copy click on send copy this click on send. and the last one copy and click on send so now let me copy this thing like retrieve all copy maybe by this time uh, yeah see everything is present luckily so click on send just send it so we'll see one by one will be getting removed actually if, if all of them are falling in this uh, same cycle and they are eligible for cleanup then it will remove everything at once that is the point here okay so we have sent the uh, send the initial request uh, with some like two to three seconds of gap okay so click on send i'm sending the same request in these four there in the object store yeah see everything got removed at once after 60 60 seconds so maybe they all of the four have fallen in the, in the same cycle and they were removed actually okay so this is how you can uh, create a custom object store and you can utilize this in this way and it will work uh, uh, what like the way we have seen till now okay and i hope you understood this and also liked it okay so please subscribe and uh, keep watching my videos thank you